Welcome to my channel. It's maths time. Kindly take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more lectures and more informative videos. In my previous video, I have explained arithmetic mean and we have done direct method for ungrouped data by using this formula. In today's video, we are going to do indirect method which is also called shortcut method or coding method. So let's start this method. It can be done by two ways, right? We have two methods for indirect shortcut or coding method. First one is using an assumed or provisional mean. Using an assumed or provisional mean. Right? What does it mean? We will use the formula a x bar is equals to a plus summation d by n. Now what is d? d is equals to x minus a. It means you have to subtract a from each value of x. And what is a? a is equals to assumed value any assumed value of x right a can be any assumed value of x i'll tell you in while doing the question second method second method is using a provisional mean using a provisional mean and changing the scale of the variable and changing the scale of the variable what does it mean it has the formula x bar is equals to a plus summation u by n multiplied with h right what is u u is equals to x minus a by h right and h is equals to class interval arithmetic mean for ungrouped data by indirect method we are going to use in this question right we have done ungrouped data by direct method and its video is available on my channel you can go and watch it out and today i'm using the same question that we did use in our previous video but we will do this question by indirect method so my question is the marks of three students in mathematics are as follows i am having three students and their marks are 45 60 and 74 now i have to do this by these two methods so look x bar is equals to a plus summation d by n it means i should know a i should know d and i should know n right what is a i told you earlier that a can be any assumed value of x this is my x column so a can be any assumed value most of the time we take the middle value as equals to a right so my formula is x bar is equals to a plus summation d by n i'm writing it here so that it will be easier first i should know a then d and then n three things so a is mostly middle value here a is equals to 60 right then come to next a is 60 I have to find D D is equals to deviations that is equals to X minus a it means that you have to subtract 60 from each value of 45 so the first one is when you subtract 45 from 60 you get minus 15 when you subtract 60 minus 60 
you get 0. When you subtract 74 minus 60, you get 14. And you need summation D. It means you have to add it. So when you add all the values, minus 15, 0 and 14, you get your answer equals to minus 1. We are going to substitute our values in the formula. A is equals to 60 plus summation D is equals to minus 1 and N is equals to number of observations that is 3. Right? 1, 2, 3. How many students? 3 students. So number of observation is 3. So 60 minus 1 by 3. Now you will take the LCM. Obviously its denominator is 1 and I hope you can take the LCM. If not, then do tell me. I'll make another video for you. So it becomes 3. So it will become multiplied with 3. 60 into 3 is 180 minus 1. That is equals to 179 by 3. 179 by divided by 3 is 59.66. You will use the calculator to calculate it. Okay. So 59.66. If you remember that when we did direct method for ungrouped data by the same uh, by using same question, I get the same answer. See these values, then you can take your or you can decide your age. I'm taking here age is equals to 5 right mostly we take 5 10 20 like these numbers so 5 i have taken as a my class interval right so next step is to calculate u u is equals to x minus a by h so I have already calculated this column x minus a. It means I just have to divide each value of this column by 5. Right? x minus a I already have done in this column. So divide each value of this column by h. What is h? 5. Class interval that is assumed value just like a. I hope it's clear now. Then uh, first value is minus 15. When you divide minus 15 by 5, you get minus 3, 0. 0 divided by 5 is obviously 0. 14 divided by 5 is equals to 2.8. When you add those values, you get minus 0.2. Let's substitute the values in the formula. What is A? A is equals to 60. Summation U is minus 0.2. N is 3. And what is my H? It is 5. 60 plus minus is minus. Plus minus is minus. 5 multiplied with 0 0.2 is 1 by 3. Again you will take the LCM that will be 3 and here it is 1 so it will be multiplied with 3 in the numerator or in the and in the denominator. So 60 into 3 is 180 minus 1 that is equals to 179 by 3 which is again equals to 59.66. Right? So if you follow any method, whether it is indirect or direct method for ungrouped data, you get the same answer.